Welcome to Casper, Wyoming, a great place to visit and even a better place to call home. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. I'm going to introduce you to my favorite Wyoming city, Casper. Casper, Wyoming, at an elevation of 5,150 feet above sea level, sits at the base of our very own Casper Mountain and is located along the banks of the North Platte River. With mountains, rivers and streams, along with nearby reservoirs, there are so many options for outdoor recreation and fun in Casper. Located in the central and slightly eastern part of Wyoming, Casper is almost an equal distance from Billings, Montana, as it is from Denver, Colorado, all of which are conveniently located right along I-25, the north-south interstate that will carry you through our wonderful state. No matter which city you choose, Denver or Billings, it will take you about four hours or a little more by car to get there. Now, if you prefer to fly, Casper does have the Casper Natrona County International Airport, currently serviced by two different airlines, linking Casper to larger hubs in Denver, Colorado and Salt Lake City, Utah and beyond. Casper is the second largest city in Wyoming with a population of just under 60,000. If you live in the big city, this might seem like a small number to you, but for the least populated state in the nation, it is a pretty big deal. Our population might not be large, but I can guarantee you that you will find some of the friendliest people around right here in Casper. Casper offers the benefits of a smaller town, like less traffic to contend with, you are very likely to know your neighbors, and you can get from one side of town to the other in less than 30 minutes. In addition to a small town feel, Casper provides an amazing mix of many of the amenities of a bigger city. So I can't say we have every amenity of a bigger city, but Casper has a variety of restaurants, coffee shops, breweries, cultural activities, such as the Wyoming Symphony, theater, dance, and museums, as well as community events like yoga in the park, farmer's markets, live concerts, and so much more, especially during the summer months. Farmers markets and other events held outdoors in Wyoming are best enjoyed during the late spring, the summer months, and into early fall. During the colder months, these events simply move indoors. Winter can be a bit on the cold side, lasting from around mid-November through the end of March. The average temperatures through the winter months range from 15 to 35, and of course we do get days that are both much colder than 15 and a little bit higher than 35. The average snowfall for Casper is around 75 inches a year. Sometimes it feels like it snows every day in the winter, but the average number of days with snowfall in Casper is less than 23 days per year, with eight or fewer days of snowfall in a row. That's the average. This year, it's been a lot more. The rest of the year has very little precipitation. Wyoming is an arid state and Casper is no exception. We get an average of just 13 inches of rain per year. One of the best things about the climate in Casper is that we do get to experience all four seasons. Fall in Casper can be short, but it's one of my very favorite times of year. As the leaves begin to change color, you get to have some warm days with cooler nights before the winter cold sets in. It is a beautiful time of year. I'm kind of going backwards through the seasons, but summertime in Casper is great. It usually doesn't get extremely hot for too many days in a row. Temperatures average between 56 and 90 degrees. Nice and warm, but not too hot. Rarely we get temperatures over 100 degrees, but they are not frequent most often. Spring is kind of like fall in Wyoming, short. Spring usually lasts from mid-April through mid-May. And while it is the rainiest time of year, we still only average seven days of rain in May, which is the rainiest month we have. Let's see, I've covered some of the basics about Casper, location, population, weather. What about history? We have several museums that can tell you more than I can about our history, such as National Historic Trails Interpretive Center or the Fort Casper Museum. Both cover a good deal about historic origins of our little town. As I'm sure you can guess, the Trail Center covers our location in relation to the Oregon, California, Mormon, and Pony Express trails. Casper was one of the stops along the way for many travelers seeking adventure, fortune, or just a new start in the West. Casper was actually named after Fort Caspar, but the town itself didn't really get its start until the railroad came to bring additional opportunities for residents. Historically, Casper's first settlers were farmers and ranchers. A big part of growth in Casper and a very big part of our history was the discovery of oil nearby. In fact, the Salt Creek oil field is the largest pool that has been found in the Rocky Mountain region and one of the largest in the United States. The first refinery in Casper was built in 1895. Agriculture, cattle ranching, and fossil fuels all continue to be an important part of our economy. So there it is. 
Casper in a nutshell. If you want more details like which breakfast places are the best or what to do for fun in downtown Casper, be sure to check out more of my videos to find the answers. Remember, if you're looking for real estate in the Casper area, give my team a call. We love talking with you. We love hearing from you in the comments. So if you have any questions, ask us there and we would be happy to answer them. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.